up, it's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can make a very basic soundboard inside of Adobe Flash. So if you guys don't know what a soundboard is, a soundboard is basically like a board of different buttons, and if you go ahead and click on the buttons, they go ahead and make the sound that's written on the button. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own very basic soundboard in Adobe Flash. Now unfortunately this is not free because it requires Adobe Flash, but if you have Adobe Flash, it will use any version of Adobe Flash that you want to. It will even go back and use Macromedia Flash. So if you have an older version of Flash, don't worry. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys on Adobe Flash version CS5. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So, to go ahead and do this, you're going to need a few things first. First of all, you're going to need something to record your audio with or just a sound file that you want to use. But if you want to make your sound using your own sounds, you go ahead and have to have something to record audio with. So, to go ahead and record audio, I use a program called Audacity, which you can find at this link right down here at the bottom. Just go ahead and click that which will be in the video's description and then go ahead and download the program called Audacity. And then what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and open up Audacity. So just go ahead and uh, open up Audacity and go up to File and create a new document. And then go ahead and press Record to go ahead and record your sounds. But I've already recorded a sound of me saying hello, which is this sound right over here. So once you have your sound that you want to go ahead and use in your soundboard, and remember you can use multiple sounds, but I'm just going to be using one to demonstrate in this video. So once you have that, you're going to need to download Adobe Flash. Now if you already have Flash, that's great. But if you don't have Flash and you just want to go ahead and try this out, Adobe offers a 30 day trial of Flash for free by going to adobe.com. So all you have to do is just go to adobe.com, which the link will be in the description. And once you go ahead and go to adobe.com, which is uh, right here, you go ahead and scroll down and download Flash Professional. Just go ahead and click on that and go here to try, and then go ahead and click on try there. And then go ahead and uh, fill out the forms for your Adobe account, and then it should come up to a window that looks like this. And just go ahead and click on download now, and you will have a 30-day trial of Flash CS5. So once you go ahead and have Flash and you've had Audacity and you have everything that you need to go ahead and start, then you go ahead and launch up Adobe Flash. So here's Flash CS5, which is what I'm going to be using. So to go ahead and create a basic soundboard, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a new action script. So I'm going to be creating an action script 3.0. Just go ahead and click on that and then it should come up with a board like this. Now you can go ahead and customize your soundboard with animations and uh, background images, but this is just going to be a basic tutorial on how to make the buttons actually clickable and make it when you click the buttons to go ahead and create a sound. This isn't going to be about how to customize your soundboard, it's just going to be about how to make the soundboard work. So I'm going to be making one button that says hello and when I click on it it's going to say hello whenever I click on it. So to go ahead and do that what we want to do is we want to go over here and grab our rectangle tool or our oval tool or anything we want to but I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to create just a rectangle right here but it's a white rectangle and so I want to select that and I want to change it to black using my uh, arrow tool. So now I have my rectangle which is going to be my button. So whenever I click on this rectangle it's going to go ahead and it's going to um, click on it and say hello. So I want to go ahead and make it so people know that it says hello whenever you click on it. So I'm going to go over here and grab my text tool and you can go ahead and change the uh, font and the size and pretty much everything else over here but I'm not going to for the purposes of this video. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to type in hello and I'm going to select over it and I'm going to make sure that the color of it is white. And then I'm going to grab my arrow tool and I'm going to select this little blue box to just surround hello and I'm going to put it into around the center right here. So as you notice that looks pretty good just a square and hello for a good basic button. But as I said before this is very basic and you can go ahead and customize it any way you want to. So now to make it look like you can actually click on it to go ahead and create the sound effect what you want to do is you want to select the arrow tool and you want to click and drag and select the entire button and then go ahead and right click on the button and click on convert to symbol. Once that's done, just name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to keep it at symbol 1 for this. And then when you, when you go over here to type, you want to go ahead and select on button. It should be selected to movie clip by default, but you want to go ahead and make sure it's selected to button. Once it's selected on button, you just go here and click OK. And then as you notice, it should be a button. Now here comes the part where you go ahead and add in the sound. So to go ahead and add in the sound, you want to go ahead and double click on your button. And as you notice down here, the timeline should actually change to look about something like this. So if I go ahead and click out of it, this is what the timeline looks like normally. But if I go ahead and click on the button, as you notice, the timeline comes to look like this. And so now to go ahead and add in the effect where 
it goes ahead and adds in the sound. You want to go over here to where it says down, click on it, and then right click and go to insert keyframe. And then as you notice, the keyframe should be inserted. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and insert our sound effect. So to go ahead and do that, we go here to file and we go to import and go to import to library. Then we just go ahead and find our sound effect. So here's my hello wave. I'm just going to go ahead and click on open. And then it should be in the library. Now you can go over here and select the library by going over to this tab over here. Or you can go ahead and do that by clicking Control and L if you're on a PC and Command and L if you're on a Mac. Once that's done, you should be in the library that looks like this. Now you just go ahead and click on the hello symbol right here. And you can go ahead and click it and drag it to the button. So just to make sure it's the right sound that you want to, just in case you have multiple sounds on your computer, go ahead and click the play button here. Hello, and as you notice it played my hello sound so now all we have to do is just click that and drag that onto our button here and then it should go ahead and add in the sound effect so now whenever we click on the button it should go ahead and play the hello sound so now to go ahead and do that to see what we've done I'm gonna go up here to file and I'm going to go to publish preview and we can click either flash or HTML but I'm gonna click on flash so it'll preview right here within the program for me so so here's our button, we go ahead and just click on that. Hello? As you notice, it played hello. So yeah, so all you have to do is just go ahead and click that button, and it'll say hello. Now to go ahead and export the soundboard, what you need to do is you need to save the file first. So I'm going to go to file, and I'm going to go to save as, and I'm just going to save it to the desktop as test sound test soundboard. Then I'm going to go ahead and just click on save and then it should save it as a flash file format. So as you notice over here it says test flash format and it's our flash it's our flash uh, document right over here. So now to go ahead and export it to go ahead and use on your website what you want to do is you want to go here to file and then go to publish settings. And then you just need to go ahead and publish it. So you can change the type of how to publish it. So you can publish it to either flash, html, gif, jpeg, png or any of these other ones. And then you can choose the flash formats here as well as well as the html formats. Then you just go down here and click ok. And then to go ahead and publish it what you need to do is go to file and go to publish. Then it'll just go ahead and publish the file to your desktop. So as you notice over here, we have three files, an HTML file, an SWF file, and uh, an SWZ file. But we don't need the SWZ file. So now if I go ahead and just open up the HTML file, it should open up in Safari right here. And so let's just wait for that to load up, shall we? And here's our button. So if we go ahead and click on it. Hello? And then that's the file, so that's your soundboard. And you can go ahead and upload that soundboard to your website so people can go ahead and use that wherever they want to on their website. And so you also get a HTML and a flash file, so the flash file. Hello? Just place the file. And so anyway, that's how to go ahead and make a very basic soundboard using uh, Adobe Flash. As I said before, this is a very basic tutorial. You can go ahead and feel free to customize your soundboard any way you want to with different sounds, background images, and even adding in uh, different kinds of buttons. But this has just been the very basic tutorial. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Leave any suggestions for future videos in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.